This is Heavy Metal Poisoning in America, Part 2. Detoxing with Zeolite Glyptolite. You're in for a treat. We're talking the science, dosing, benefits, and the powdered form. Safe and effective heavy metal detox, chelation. To recap, zeolite clinoptilolite is an aluminum silicate crystal with a tetrahedral microporous structure. Through a highly charged ionic bond, it traps cations, which just so happen to be heavy metals. Decades of research reinforce that it safely passes through the body and chelates heavy metals, pulls them with it. But not only does it detox heavy metals, it's highly effective in powdered form, protecting the brain, antioxidant properties, boosting the immune system, improving gut flora, and bone regeneration. You can find this on the NIH, PubMed, a critical review of zeolite clinoptilolite safety and medical applications in vivo in the body. A lot of people are concerned about the right dosage of the powder. In their capsule form, Haltrofen recommends 1600 milligrams per day. For adults, that's roughly a tablespoon. That's a lot of zeolite, but it's a perfectly healthy amount, and I'm going to get to why. And to be honest, it changes with convenience or the information you get. Now, I would start with a teaspoon for adults in a glass of distilled water using a non-metal spoon. Now, what is utterly laughable are there are companies offering liquid suspensions. I made this from the powder. <sighs> Zeolite is a crystalline structure. It cannot be broken down other than mechanical micronization, which means it cannot be dissolved and it does not change form in water. Now a TikToker with over a million followers who her entire platform is bashing other creators and pushing her own products went on a rant. She was pushing this Zuma brand for $49 because of its nanoparticle size. And guess what? Surprise, surprise, they use micronized zeolite at five microns. $49 Zuma. The three times micronized zeolite powder that's one pound is smaller at 0.32 to 1.36 microns. It's hard to comprehend how small this is, but a red blood cell is 7.5 microns. Tiny. There was actually a study done that compared the effectiveness of oral sprays, drops, and powdered preparation. Drops and sprays did not even remotely compare to the effectiveness of powder. For example, the powdered form was 119% effective at excreting arsenic. Drops were negative 8% efficacy. Look at this chart. Purple is powdered. Pink is zeolite drops and sprays. When it comes to aluminum, arsenic, barium, lead, nickel, and more, the powder massively outperformed. In their own words, the obtained results showed a superiority of the powdered zeolite preparation even at the lowest dose in comparison to the other preparations taken at higher doses. Their dosage of powder was 15 grams per day, which is a tablespoon for four weeks. No adverse reactions were reported other than flatulence. A full toxicology was done. From a lot of studies I've read, a common detox period is four weeks, about a month, to two months. So consistently for at least a month. Now the only side effects I've heard of are gas and very rare constipation. So I would drink lots of water. If you have any issues, stop using it. There's been numerous animal and human studies that tested zeolite clinoptilolite at extremely high doses, and it was still safe. It's biologically neutral and non-toxic. EFSA evaluated and proved the zeolite clinoptilolite non-toxicity for animal feed at doses of 10,000 milligrams per kilogram. A study was done on powdered zeolite for mice, measuring the toxicity of doses 10 to 25 times higher, the equivalent of 4 to 10 tablespoons for a human. Again, no toxicity was observed. That gives some peace of mind. Now this is an awesome cancer treatment study, but I want to emphasize mechanically micronized zeolite is very common. Now these are the dosages I would start with for adults. Screenshot. Teens. Screenshot. And kids. Now for the drops, I'd do at least a tablespoon per ounce. Take a couple dropper fulls. I know I've said less in other videos, but now we've cleared up some of the confusion about liquid versus powder. To make it easy, screenshot. I'll give zeolite toothpaste to try. I'm clearly a fan. If you want a screenshot, this will also detox fluoride, which means you need to remineralize with calcium hydroxyapatite and phosphate so you don't get cavities. This is research, so please consult your physician. This is not medical advice. I'm Britton Simons. Don't forget to like and follow, and if you'd like to use my Amazon affiliate links, they're in my bio. Cheers, I'll see you next time.